What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tony with 2 and 0 Guy Kicks coming at you with yet again another video. Now, as y'all saw by the thumbnail, we got a couple little things, and I got a sneaker trade uh, from one of the homies. And I'll be letting you know who that is right now once we get to that point. But I got a couple other little things I picked up that I wanted to throw up in here. Just kind of make it like a haul series. But uh, yeah, comment down below. Well, actually, let's just get into the first thing. Y'all saw the little bag. Got a little, little package. I actually already opened. I'm not going to lie about it. But yeah, I already opened this. Something that's not too crazy. Something I seen online that I wanted. And I ordered it. But uh, I don't know, I don't think it sold out. Probably didn't. But nothing too crazy. Y'all might have seen other people picking this this up right here. It's that Jordan where he's kissing the trophy after winning the championship. I just thought it was a dope graphic and being a Jordan head, well, felt like just right to get this and add it to the collection. It was 35 bucks as normal Jordan shirts are, but just pretty dope that it says 1991 Road to Victory, the greatest player ever, his airness. It says, don't let your first be your last, the start of a dynasty, best on earth. And y'all know it is a Jordan shirt, size large, my size. Nothing too crazy, but I did want to throw that out there. Oh, since I did decide to pick that up. And I'll leave it right there in the back, kind of, on the seat. Now this other one, I don't even know if I should put this in here. Damn, you have to hear that. See if I don't break nothing. I kind of did take it out of the bubble wrap, so I probably shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is something I ordered actually for my pickup. I'll put it out. Oh, see if I don't drop nothing. It was actually, there was no instructions on it, but it seems simple enough. Got a little, I guess, compressor. I don't know what that is, but that's a little thing for the plus and minus. And basically, yeah, y'all see that? Got that big, supposedly sounds like a train horn. I haven't tried it out yet since, yeah, it's not installed yet, but actually I think I left the bolts. It has the bolts and stuff, but I left them in another room. I just want to throw this in there. Because, uh, yeah, I drive a lot, and them big truckers do not hear my regular horns, so I had hooked this up before, and I took it back and forth. I just want to throw that in here. This was off an Instagram ad, 40 bucks. I felt it was a pretty good deal. I don't know how much they normally go for, but I said I've been wanting to order one of these loud-ass horns so people can hear me. So, uh, yeah, I'll let y'all know how that goes once I do install it on my pickup. And, uh... Yeah, nothing to do with sneakers, but just something cool that I, I picked up off an Instagram ad. It's like they're listening to what I'm saying. And uh, yeah, so there that goes. Now, the moment I have been waiting for. This is a sneaker trade uh, that I did with one of the homies. Y'all can go follow his YouTube channel. His name is SB Mitch, or his name is Mitch. He goes by SB Mitch. I'll put his ad right here and leave it on there so y'all can go follow him. Cool dude to follow. He'll answer some questions if you have questions on certain items or or you see stuff on his um, his website. He does have a website also called RansomNoSneakers.com. This is where I saw this pick, particular pair of shoes. And I actually DM'd him on Twitter. Um, and he responded, accepted my offer. I did end up trading him a pair of DS Turbo Green 1 size 11 and a half. Again, they are DS, a brand new pair. And I put $100 on top of that um, for this particular pair right here. But this is a pair that, that I've been wanting and that he's had on the site for a bit. And uh, yeah, we made it happen. So let me know down below once you see these shoes, who you think got the better deal or just, just what you think of the trade. Was it a fair trade? I think it was in my personal opinion. Uh, but I haven't checked these out yet. Let's uh, get my keys first. Oh, and the wife came through with the clutch keys. So let's open this up and get up in it. Dang, and he did double tape it. So yeah, it's a little tough to open, but appreciate that, Mitch, if you're watching this video. There we go. All right, I've been wanting to see these. I see them on the site, like I said. And he has a few pairs of shoes up there. All right. uh, nothing else in the box. Uh, man, if y'all, I'm telling y'all, if y'all see this side, like, 
man, I just got boxes on top of boxes. It says, put a little note on top. Thank you, dude. Enjoy. M, which of course his name is Mitch. And it is a replacement box. Oh wait, no, that shows what kind of shoe it is. Never mind, never mind. We're not gonna do that. Man, let me make sure there's nothing else up in here. Nope, okay. Where are my stickers, Mitch? Where are my stickers at? <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. But yeah, he has some cool stickers that I think he sent me. I've done business with him before. He's a cool dude, laid back guy. Y'all see the y'all see the dust bag. See, I know some some presidential shit is going on right now. Woo. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it PG-13. You know what I'm talking about? Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna take him off off camera. Uh, a little worn, not too bad. Then need to get shaping, reshaping again. And y'all probably already seen them because I'm juggling them around. Bam! Right here, the Don C Jordan Twos. Y'all see the gold lace tips. I'm not gonna go crazy into detail. Y'all know what it is. It's an all tan shoe, luxurious quilted, that quicker picker upper. <laughs> nah, but it's that leather does feel good. The suede on it, Woo. suede, suede so soft. That's what I'm talking about. Oh man, and y'all can see the bottoms. Look at that. Almost no drag. Almost no drag on them, if any. I mean, they look almost. Got a little bit, little bit, but nothing really crazy. Like, now y'all can see, I'll try to get close. Everything's pretty good. The toe of anything has very slight, very slight wear. A little bit right here, but I don't know if my camera will catch it. But y'all see that red hit on the bottom with that Nike. The interior does have those nice looking quilted just like the pinnacle ones and it says just done right there y'all seen them i'm not gonna go too far in depth with it but this was a sneaker trade i made like i said i traded a ds pair of turbo green one size 11 and a half and 100 bucks for these um i do gotta put some shoe trees in them they got a little bit of creasing and stuff like that like right here but if y'all have some twos y'all know that happens quick with these i'm overall satisfied just because of the quality of the shoe has that leather on the Air Jordan. And then on the back, of course it has, what is it? 23. Ooh, these are size 12 and they do have that interior liner. Like I said, I'm not gonna go too in depth. Y'all seen these shoes. Y'all might've seen them, our uh, reviews. But this was a shoe that I, I personally feel I can wear a lot more than my turbos, especially since that turbo was an extra pair. I still have my personal pair that I've already worn a couple times. So that was a pair that I actually had been I guess just sitting on, but the prices never went up on those shoes. Um, but yeah, comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. Was it a better deal for me to get these? Or should I kept, kept my DS pair of Turbo Ones and my 100 bucks? But I'm overall satisfied. There's a little bit of creasing and stuff, but I'm going to wear mine. You know I wear most of my shoes. Uh, actually, all my shoes, but yeah. I just don't have time to wear them all. But uh, I actually really want to put these on feet already. But y'all know it has those semi-wax laces. Just trying to go over what I see, the details. The Nike on the back that's stitched in even though it's just printed on. It's still a dope shoe in my opinion. I like this one way more than the blue one. It's a lot more wearable on a daily daily use. And like I said, that suede is buttery, nice and soft. I'm overall happy to add this shoe to the collection. It does not have the original box, which is that big red box, but I'm okay with that since I do have the dust bag. And I'll probably be hanging it up over here. If y'all can even see, I have a few bags over here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put these back up in here. In my overall opinion, they're still in good condition. I do need to stuff the toe box though, cause they are going a little flat. So that way you can get that shape back in them. And probably try to remove a little bit of creasing, but overall not bad considering those turbo greens were just sitting around, uh, basically just sitting in the box chilling. I'm just looking for the right trade and in my opinion for what i was looking for it was a good trade now originally you couldn't see the dust bag i'm wondering should i just do like a like a thumbnail for this and even the dust bag feels pretty soft but uh yeah guys that's basically my haul series not nothing too crazy i got this thing so people can hear me coming <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I'm hype about that. 
that's gonna be fun when I'm driving. Got my shirt, the new edition, another another Jordan shirt, nothing crazy, guys. They're probably still sitting on Nike. If I can find them on Nike, I'll link them down below as always. Y'all know how I do. <clears throat> but yeah, I got these back up in the dust bag. I'm gonna stuff the toes here in a little bit and get them, get them where they need to be. But overall, like I said, I'm satisfied with that. Comment down below what you think of the trade, who got the better end of the trade or whatever if you want to i mean it's up to you just chop it up with me in the comments as always guys hit that thumbs up if you like the video don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already i believe last time i checked a little while ago we we're nine subs away from 1700 i appreciate each and every one of y'all for rocking with the channel and liking my content enough to hit that subscribe button and of course chopping it up in the comments i always love chopping it up with y'all on that i always comment back so uh yeah and if you want you can throw a follow on my social media it is the same as the channel at 210 guy kicks which is be right here and y'all can check that out but i'm gonna get out of here guys i'm trying to talk your ear off it's your boy tony with 210 guy kicks coming at you with yet again another video again shout out to the homeboy sb mitch throw him a follow and check out his site ransomnotesneakers.com to check out what he's selling and he does do a lot of uh like beater box opening and stuff like that. So check out his channel for sure. He got good content. But it's your boy Tony with 210 Guy Kicks coming at you with yet again another video. Peace, guys. To the next one.